From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Inside the Mirrors by Jason R. Davis. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. No, seriously, there is a movement underway to get Dwayne The Rock Johnson to run for president in 2020. <sighs> North Korea is looking more like a utopia every day. Coffee has been linked to a decrease in the risk of death. However, taking cuts in the line at Starbucks has an opposite effect. In a new interview, David Letterman says he is tired of all the talk about President Trump's incompetence. He'd like America to just stop whining about what a goon he is and figure out a way to take him aside and put him in a home. Which, ironically, is exactly what many of us have been saying about David Letterman for years. Well, you might say the speech uh, J.P. Nadal gave at his daughter's wedding uh, in an apple orchard in Woodstock, New Brunswick, Canada was electrifying. That's because right after he began speaking, he got struck by lightning. Nadal later said that the power went through the mic cord and it was like I had a bolt of lightning in my hand. Moments later, a heavy downpour started and guests ran for shelter. Nadal, who was shaken up but uh, fortunately not injured apart from a scorch mark on his thumb, he says the rest of the day went smoothly, though people were coming around wondering why I was still alive. Uh, asked whether he thought it could have been a sign from above, he said, "...there is a rumor that goes around that if it rains or thunders on your wedding day, it's a good sign." And if you're struck by lightning, that's good luck, too. I'll stick with uh, the rabbit's foot, thank you. News has leaked that Quentin Tarantino is working on a movie about Charles Manson. Uh, to be historically accurate, Tarantino he's actually going to have to tone down his usual violence. The cast of Jersey Shore is reportedly filming a secret reunion episode. You know, it'd be even better if they hadn't told us about it and it remained a secret forever. Parks Associates say that 59% of U.S. broadband households subscribe to Netflix, Amazon, or Hulu. Uh, sh should I be uh, worried if I'm subscribed to all three? Liam Hemsworth released a photo of his fiance Miley Cyrus, calling her his little angel. Meaning Liam has never seen any of Miley's concerts, videos, or heard any of her songs. President Donald Trump has been party to an eye-watering 4,000 lawsuits over the last 30 years. And, of course, they keep coming. But this might be one of the more unusual ones. Seven people are suing the president for blocking them on Twitter. <laughs> the lawsuit was filed by the Knight First Amendment Institute. It's a free speech group at Columbia University. The seven Twitter users involved claim their accounts were blocked by the president or his aides after they replied to his tweets with mocking or critical comments. They're arguing that by blocking them, President Trump has effectively barred them from joining the online conversation, or as they believe, he has attempted to, quote, suppress dissent, unquote, in a public forum, which they think is a violation of their First Amendment right to free speech. Man, if blocking people on Twitter is a violation of others' rights, we are all going to jail. The city of Manchester in the UK is going to make Ariana Grande an honorary citizen for her response to that terror attack earlier this year. Well, that's nice of you, uh, but I would highly recommend during the celebration that you not have donuts within reach of her tongue. After all those rumors, Jesse Williams and Mika Kelly have finally gone public with their relationship. I guess that would mean something if I knew who Jesse Williams and Mika Kelly were. The airline India Air is for sale. It comes complete with five subsidiaries and $8 billion in debt. And four 7-Elevens. Unattractive dweebs are more likely than bona fide babes to consider themselves chick magnets, according to a report in Psychological Science. Researchers put 200 college students through a speed meeting experiment, and the less handsome men were more likely to think beautiful women were into them while the cuter guys had a more realistic assessment of their standings. So flirt cautiously, ladies. Dorky dudes may overestimate your interest. The Vatican has said no to requests for gluten-free wafers at communion. 
because while Jesus does care about your salvation and loving others, it's equally important that you remember him by eating bread that you're allergic to. A 110-year-old woman in Texas says the secret to her longevity is eating spicy food. Okay, well, that makes it official. My wife is going to outlive me and possibly live forever. One analyst says that Amazon is slowly but surely killing Black Friday with better deals available all year long. And to that I say, thank you, Amazon! Daniel Craig is said to be getting closer to signing on for a fifth James Bond movie, which flies in the face of what he's been saying the past few years that he'd rather kill himself than play 007 again. I guess he'll die another day. A 53-year-old Florida man called 911 six times. He allegedly asked police in Sebastian to harass him so he could sue them for harassment. Well, instead, the officers who responded arrested him for abuse of 911. The man still has a shot, though. I mean, this is 2017 when you can sue people for anything, even for doing their jobs. A New Jersey couple that recently lost their daughter to lupus received a stroke of good fortune as they helped raise their three grandchildren. On March 31st, they struck it big when their Mega Millions ticket matched all five white balls drawn, earning them $1 million, which should be just enough to feed all five of them for the next two months. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!